Hello one, this is Flash for Finder 3. 3D printer, I'm using uh, 3D printer at my home and it's really quiet. What I can hear? I can hear cooling fan, filament cooling fan, not so loud, but I can hear. And when I print in a little bit faster, like now in uh, about 65 or 70 millimeters per second, I can hear some uh, stepper motors. But if you print uh, slower, it's completely quiet printer, that I like. Very, very well made printer. Have filament sensor, run out sensor, power outage sensor. And it's good price, guys, for such a big printer. It's 190, 195 and 200 millimeters in height. So it's, uh, it's a normal printer, like uh, Ender Free or something. Printer bed, you can heat up to 110 degrees. It's a lot. If you want to print some ABS or something, you can cover this printer with plastic bag or something. And you are ready to go. They provide uh, glass, plate and flexible pay sheet. I'm using pay sheet. I really like. Because it's much easier to remove your printed uh, things. Check this out guys. Quality. Yes. Because it's that it's not shaking, it's a stable. What it's moves, it's only you hot end or printer hat. So it's, you get very, very stable prints. You can use this printer directly out of the box without any tuning or something. You can send uh, files wirelessly or by using USB stick. This printer have a polar uh, cloud so you can uh, print completely online your things if you don't want you use slicer. I really like uh, Simplify uh, 3D slicer but this one I think it's, uh, it's much better. Flash print they have more things than Simplify 3D. I created a profile for Simplify 3D, so you can download in the link below. You can try if you want to slice it. But I really, really recommend that you use uh, Flash Print Slicer. So simple to use. You can send your things wirelessly to the printer. And if you want to print uh, faster, what you can do, you can change patch. Wait, it's 0 0.47 millimeters. I do actually. You can print double, double, or even faster without losing any quality. Check this out. This I printed in about one hour. I'm using uh, filament from uh, Sandlu. This is Meta filament. It works really great. 200 degrees nozzle and bat it's 60 degrees. No tuning, no nothing. Direct out of the box, print you things and I promise you, you're going to enjoy it. Very good printer for your kids, or even like I am using at home this printer. Quiet, big printer there, so you can get a little bit uh, bigger prints. And good price, very good price. Especially now, when I'm making this video, it's a uh, Black Friday, so it's uh, <laughs> very cheap. If you ask me which printer I choose for home use, and they're free, 
style or this one of course this one it's a stable bed a high temperatures you can print a base direct extruder I forget to mention before so you can print TPU flexible things you can use uh, standard filament this printer uses um, standard parts so nozzle or something you can buy uh, from any any place on internet not only from uh, flash force that means you can use this printer in long long time even if flash force do not provide these parts you can buy on another shop. Some things that I don't like about this printer. I don't like when you ob update this printer, it's online. It's a nice, very, very, very nice that they made this, but you cannot read what they changed. Maybe now I can print faster. Maybe I can. Uh, maybe they added something new in the menu. I don't know. You can find info. You just update printer. That's it. But you don't know what they done with this printer. So I, I don't think this is really good because you own this printer. You want to know. And another thing, it's not bad that this change uh, filament uh, button. When you press it, you must use two hands you can destroy your axis you now when you push too hard you can destroy your axis so you must use two hands that's it that's they can make some some things that you can use some some two fingers not just push it down by one finger it's my two complaints only two complaints about this printer actually wirelessly connected printer by slicer I love the slicer I wish so you can add another printers to the slicer not only flash words printers maybe they can do this in the future very simple to use when you level your bed you just adjust those two screws in the in the front like you see it's a very stable printer two z axis so that it's very stable no vibrations nothing check this out 0 0.2 layer height 65 millimeters per second speed you adjust Z8 when you level this printer and later the, just those two screws. So it's super easy. More videos coming soon, so stay tuned. Very good printer for home use. And it's uh, cheap. It's a cheap, nice decent, and have a lot, of, a lot of things inside. It's not only for 3D printing beginners. If you want to get your prints 100%, I'm sure you will get this printer. Enjoy, subscribe. Thank you for watching this video and uh, happy trade printing.